So we are here today to learn how to study, how to go about, how to revise your SPM biology after this. Huh? Um, chances are you have finished your, your Pachubaan, your Pachubaan SPM. In fact, I think you all just completed your trials just two, three days ago. All right, two, three days ago. And, and I would say after, after that Thursday whereby uh, especially because most of my students are Selangor students. So once they finish the paper, they messaged me, they told me how the paper was and they asked uh, how to go about the next three weeks. How to go about and revise the subject of biology for the next three weeks because it's, it's holiday. Okay, so this video is for that purpose. Uh. Uh, guys, I'm here to guide you how to study and revise biology systematically for the next three weeks, okay? So let me share screen. I just got back uh, from KL to Ipoh yesterday, actually. So I have a bit of time now. I'm in my Ipoh house, I'm in my Ipoh house. So we are here today, 12, 12, choppy sales, <laughs> 12, 12. Okay, today is 12-12. You all have finished percubaan last week. Yeah, minggu lalu telah selesai percubaan. Uh. Uh, I'll just read this. I'll just read one of the questions that was forwarded to me. Okay, just take this up. Uh, sir, I'm your existing student and... And since SPM is coming soon, you gave us a lot of uh, set questions. I would like to ask you a few questions. Actually, she had a few questions, uh, but this is, the main, this is the main point. In order to score better marks for biology, should I go through all the chapters or should I just keep trying the biology set papers? Then followed by, I think, two or three questions, which I think is... Um, of lesser relevance to you. Lah. And she ended with this. She said, what should I do to improve my biology? May I get some advice from you, TQVM? Followed by a smiley emoji. Okay, so her question is, sir, should I study topically or should I do set papers? That's the question. That's the question. Soalan adalah, adakah saya patut buat ulang kaji biology mengikut topik? Should I study? Uh, topically or do the set. Okay. Now to answer this question again, guys, you are here. You have just finished climbing a hill. There's a name for this hill. I call it trials. I call it trials. Trials is essentially a hill to prepare you for a much taller mountain. And by now, definitely in your mind, you would already know the name of this mountain. So, Nama, Yala, SPM. Okay, the, the name of this mountain is called SPM. Guys, I told all my Form 5 students, and I'll tell those who watch my YouTube the same thing. Huh? If you have finished your Pachubaan, you must learn how to climb down the hill and plan your next journey. You cannot jump from one hill to another. <laughs> you will fall and die. <laughs> I'm serious, okay? But what I mean by that is, please plan ahead. Please plan ahead. Yeah. So, how should you go about, how should you go about biology these few weeks? Um, should you study topically? Okay, guys, look. If you study topically, my advice is this. Lah. If you are a KBSM student, yeah, if you are a KBSM student like last time, uh, whereby you only have a total of 15 topics, I will straight away say yes. Please study topically. But at this moment, all students, all SPM students are KSSM students. So for biology, there are a total of 28 topics. 
My advice is a straightforward no. You should not read topic by topic. Simple reasoning. I imagine that if I'm you, hey guys, I'm, I'm in your shoes, huh? and these are very big shoes to fill. Dua puluh lapan topic. I imagine if I am you, and I open the reference book, the, the notebook, I study chapter one. Don't you think that at the back of your head, there's a voice telling you that, friends, you still have another 27 topics. I'm not too sure about you, but definitely for me, it'll be ringing at the back of my head, which is quite demotivating. Say you are very good at memorizing. So I think the first few topics are quite easy. I can settle quite fast. Okay, let's say if you were to settle 10 topics in three, four, five days, Jangan lupa tau, kita masih ada 18 topik. I think this method is not suitable to be used now. Last time maybe, but before this, yes. Guys, I'm talking specifically about December. I'm talking specifically about December. Don't study topically and don't just do set as well. You can do some set questions. But you cannot ignore the fact that you still have to do some topical reading. So this is my advice, guys. This is my advice. Huh? Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, my advice is, you know, guys, they, they, they always have this saying, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Okay, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I was a student who planned a lot. Guys, I just told my class, I just finished a class. I told them, uh, I'm uh, if if my past life, I, I, I was born in China back then, uh, my past life, uh, yeah, and if I'm the one serving the emperor, I'll be definitely the one planning, planning how to go about the war, go about the battles that China have to face. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is how you should go about the subject these three weeks. If I'm you, I will divide it into three phases. Phase one, uh, phase two, then phase three. Phase one, phase two, phase three. Phase one would be the form four topics, phase two, form five topics, phase three, remaining topics. Okay, phase three, remaining topics. And it's not like what you are thinking, oh, sir, isn't it the same thing? We start from chapter one. The answer is no. If you think about it, if you think about it, uh, chapter one to five, guys, chapter one to five, let me ask you, is it a long, are these long topics? Are they topic yang panjang? Are they very hard to revise? Will it take a lot of time? Can you study last minute? The answer is you can study last minute. Not really an issue. So if I were you, I will straight away tackle the subject starting from chapter six. Chapter six. Chapter six. Uh, chapter seven is subjective. Up to you. Because to me, I think anaerobic respiration, aerobic, still can study last minute if you are quite familiar with the essay questions because it's, they like to ask essay for that topic. Okay, so chapter six, then I'll study chapter eight, chapter nine, chapter 10, chapter 12, chapter 13, chapter 15. Total, I have seven topics to cover instead of 15, instead of 15. Now, why are we covering this first? They are longer chapters. They are deeper chapters. They are harder chapters, okay? I don't know why when I say this in class, huh? just now I just said this in class, harder, deeper, and longer, they were, they were laughing. Okay, they were laughing. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so these are tougher chapters. Huh? These are tougher chapters. If you realize, I even took out Bab. Okay, what I took out was Bab 7, Bab 11, and Bab 14. Chapters are quite short. Chapters are quite short. And 
not much assay, but a little bit of structure. Lah. Okay, there's a little bit of structure. Guys, if you look at it, lah. okay, from uh from from the past year uh sets, lah, you will realize that this one they only ask structure. Cell division from bahagian cell. Mereka hanya tanya uh, soalan struktur. Bab eight, they bab seven, they will ask some essay lah, definitely lah. But those can, you can you can you can tackle quite easily. Chapter eight, a little bit of structure. Chapter nine, structure or essay, both 50-50. Chapter ten, structure or essay, 50-50. Thirteen, uh, twelve and thirteen, blood glucose level, body temperature, uh, osmoregulation, urine formation. Always essay is your main priority then only structure. And the last one also half-half. So by putting these topics as your priority topics to revise, you are essentially helping your own paper too. You're helping your own scoring for paper too. Okay. Now, moving on to form five. Uh, moving on to form five. Guys, I actually told my students, you decide yourself which one is easy or hard for you. You decide yourself which one is easy or hard for you. Uh, but here I'll help you guys a little bit. Here I'll help you guys a little bit. You see, yeah? the current form fiber, they actually put plants, voila, plants, environment related topics, then there's inheritance, there's variation, and biotech. Okay. First and foremost, uh, actually the first five topics, uh, I would say the first seven topics, right? You have to study together, but you can omit. Omit means uh, don't include. I think you can ignore chapter two. Sorry, chapter, yeah, chapter three. Uh, I would say chapter three. Chapter three. Uh, chapter two. Five cannot, five cannot, cannot take out. Three, seven, uh, three, seven you can take out. Other than that, you must read together actually. So chapter one, chapter two, chapter four, chapter five, chapter six. To give you a better idea, normally, normally, uh, in a last time, uh, in a structure, right? They like to ask. They like to ask this part first. There will be part one to the question. Then this will be more to part two. This will be more to part two. Okay, this will be more to part two. But amongst these five sub, these five topics, the one that you have to pay most focus for for this year, I would say is reproduction. I would say it's reproduction. So if I use a red pen, ah. I think you should pay more attention to this one because this one can come out structure and come out as a very balanced sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Okay, sexual reproduction. You have to study them together, no choice guys, because all these are plants. But if you really want to take out something, these two you can take out first. You can, I'll tell you what to do with the rest later. Okay, plants. Huh? And to be frank, it's not too long. It's not too long. I believe chapter one, you can finish in... Chapter one also important. Uh. Chapter one, chapter six. Uh, I believe chapter one, you can finish in one hour or lesser than one hour. Uh, chapter two, half an hour. So it doesn't take much time. Unlike form four topics, form four topics, you just read chapter 12 alone will take at least, if you study properly, at least one hour. If you study properly, okay? Because the hormones also so many for chapter 12. All right, moving on. Uh, biodiversity, you can... Biodiversity, ecosystem, and sustainability. Okay, maybe ecosystem, I think it's fine to study. Uh, chapter 9. It's another color. Uh, chapter 9 is okay to study. It's worth your time. Okay, so I'll put Bab 8 here. If you are my existing student, you should know, I discourage students from doing chapter 10. 
okay, I discourage students from doing chapter 10. Okay, because uh, if this question comes out in essay, it's more about whether your point tallies the schema. Bukan, bukan tengok point anda betul ke tidak, but check how many points tally the schema, then they, they give you the marks. Ah. Okay. Now, bab 11, bab 11, it's a very subjective topic. It can be very easy for you. It can be very hard for you. That one, you have to decide yourself. Yeah, because I, 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 I would dare to say, uh, those who follow me, in my class, right? Chapter 11, they can completely don't care and do SPM in. Yeah, because we have done a lot of practice uh, in short. Okay, so I'll put 11 here. So basically left, uh, I would say 13. 12 also I'll put here. Variation, guys. Variation, not too tough. Variation, not too tough. So guys, instead of 13 topics for form 5, instead of 13 topics for form 5, now we have how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven topics from four, seven topics from five. Maximum is 15 topics. It's something like last time. Wow, sir. Then how about the rest of the topics? All this here should be in phase three. All this here should be in, in phase three. Pastor Tiger. Guys, I am very good in a sense that I help you to even consider that you have other subjects. Okay, how to study now? How to use this method now? What color is nice? Uh? I think I can use black, black, color, uh. black color. Okay, so I remove this. So don't study topically. Uh. It's not the way uh, anymore. It's not the way anymore. So what you should do is, number one, plan your priorities for all for all your subjects phase one phase two phase three number two study this way you study phase one you study phase one all the subjects okay when i say all the subjects i think the ones that you can plan is uh, basically basically except your languages uh. Everything except your languages and then moral and pendidikan Islam. Okay, so basically your three sciences, your ad maths, maths, sejarah, you can you can follow this way. Paper one, uh, paper one. Uh, phase one, you start you focus on phase one first for all the subjects, then you study phase two for all the subjects. Meaning you settle, you tell team all the phase one for all the subjects, then only you study phase two. Trust me, guys, you don't have time for phase three. You do not have time for phase three. Yeah, so rather than studying everything and learning nothing, study so much but, but gain nothing, we are trying to focus. We are trying to do focus revision, focus and active revision. Trust me, you really wouldn't have time for phase three because it's only three weeks. Don't forget your sejarah, you have. I think Sejarah and Bayu alone accounts for nearly 50 topics if we consider everything. Because your Sejarah is uh, chapter 10 chapters per form. 10 chapters per form. Uh, moreover, your Physics is 13 topics, your Chemistry 13 topics. So guys, this is what you should, you should uh, do for Bayu. And, and your job is to plan for the rest of the subjects. I mean, if you ask me, la, this is what I'll do. So it's a this this video is more of a point of view video, my my own perspective lah. Yeah. Okay. Because to me chapters like this, what for you read now? What for you read ten times? No use one, guys. Read near exam is fine. Okay. Okay. And one last thing, when you go about these topics, uh, you have to be a bit flexible as well. For instance, uh, chapter six they don't ask essay, they don't ask essay, they only ask structure. So. Maybe you should focus more on just doing structure pass here. No point reading so many times. You should focus your attention more to doing pass here for, for bab 6, cell division, pembahagian cell. Tetapi bab-bab seperti, tetapi, tetapi bab-bab seperti bab, lim, bab 9, like bab 9, digestion, there's no point for you to do so many questions because 
I believe just by reading and controlling the topic very well is sufficient enough for you to score. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, uh, guys, this is just a short guidance on if you want uh, a rough idea of how Mr. Paul would study the subject uh, during this holiday. Lah. Okay. During this holiday. Okay, guys. Uh, cheers. Good luck. Thank you for... for you are watching, thank you for supporting and I wish you happy holidays and good luck. Alright, cheers.